Hi, Uncle Bumpy again, and I know a question that's been on your mind and nagging you for years is what are all those buttonholes doing on the key bib overall on the bib? There's three of them. There's one right here, and there are two right here. What are they used for? Well, this top one is for the end of a watch fob. And in the good old days, most people wore pocket watches, didn't have these jobs around. So what they would do with a bib overall is they would attach their pocket watch to a watch fob. And the end of the watch fob went right through this hole and, and attached it to the bib overall. Then there was a piece of leather or a fancy chain or in some places just a string that attached to the end of the watch. And the watch then would go right in this pocket right here. There's a nice pocket in here. Slip that in there and the watch falls down in there. So that's what this buttonhole is for. The other two buttonholes are for pencils. And pretty obvious with this one, I've got it in there, but you're saying, what's that one on the bottom for? Who would put a pencil in like that? Well, you wouldn't put a pencil like this in there, but back in Depression era and backward times were tough. A lot of the guys that wore these were carpenters or had to mark things when they were cutting. And they wore their pencils down to just little nubbins like that. So those went in here. You'd have this little nubbin sticking up out of there. And the bigger pencils went in there. Now, back in those days, the carpenters... They didn't use pencils like this because they always broke. They used pencils that look like this. And you sharpen these with a knife. It's got a big piece of lead in it. And that would go down in here. Now, I started out selling gosh, gosh, big gosh, bib overalls. And I remember that many times with a promotion, we'd be giving these pencils away. One pencil with every pair of bib overalls you bought. And that was a pretty valuable deal to those carpenters and, and a lot of the workers back then who had to mark things. But if you're going to use this kind of a pencil today, you actually need to open up this eyelid a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. There's room there to do that. Okay, what are some of the other things you can use those for? Well, some of you might have a specific small tool that you use all the time in your work. I'm just going to use this. Uh, some fellas have little clippers or, or little scissors that they use, but th those would hold that very nicely. So if, if you've got some other tool or something that you need to use all the time, and that those eyelets, those buttonholes, just might do the trick for you. So, I'm Uncle Bumpy. I don't know how many of you remember the Oshkosh Bagosh bib overalls, but like I say, that's what I started out selling. And actually, the son of the man that owned Oshkosh Bagosh, he was the one that started the key brand. So it's kind of all in the family anyway. Well, be sure to sign up down below and comment. You can get all kinds of interesting suggestions. There's some more good stuff over there you can click on. And I'm Uncle Bumpy. And we hope that you will wear your key bib or overalls in safety and good health. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.